Okay, so the water pump failed on the truck. Yes, 160,000 miles, it's 1995. It was bound to happen eventually. So, I thought, you know, before I replace that water pump, what I really need to do is completely flush the system with the old water pump still in there because I don't want any of the crap that's in the cooling system to somehow get into the seals or affect any new parts I put on this truck. So that's what this video is about. Pretty simple stuff, but I do it a little bit different. I don't just drain it and fill it and drain it and fill it. I do it a little bit different where I think it's actually flushing a lot better than that method. So let's get into it. Very quickly, that's what it looks like when it's cold. And that's what it looks like after running it and it got warm. Very, very disgusting. Uh, quickly taking off the water neck to get to the thermostat. Pulling the thermostat so that I can gut it. And there is what it looks like gutted. That way I can put the hose back on and get all the water routed away from the engine compartment. And quickly putting it back on. Um, the thermostat does have an o-ring around it so I'm not too worried about it being perfectly sealed. Uh, garden hose fed into uh, the radiator wrapped with a rag and then it just um, clamps on the hoses. Um, the radiator hose did not need to be clamped. I will say that. That was a mistake. And I just let it run. It is warm at this point and I'm just letting it run until it goes clear which takes some time. You can see it a little clear. And then I actually have a remote start on this truck, so I start the truck just to help it flush it out. And you can see it gets a little dark again. And there's a surge of water, and then the surge quits. So that's when I shut the truck back off and let it fill back up. And I do this, looks like four, five, six, I don't know, four or five times. And I took the cap off to let it flow out the top of the radiator to flush it that way. And clamp off the hose. Because I'll need it again here in a second. And then I'll put the upper radiator hose back into the radiator. And get the clamp back on. Taking the radiator cap off so I can fill the system with water again. And I'm going to remote start the truck. And then I'm actually going to fill the system back up. And then I go for a drive. Um, I, at this point, I'm not worried about driving it a lot. I think I maybe only left it this way for a couple days. Um, I took it down the interstate, revved it up a bunch. Um, at this point, I have no additives. This is still just straight water. This is a few days later. Again, the garden hose, top radiator hose off the radiator, garden hose into that point. And it is warm at this point again. And look at that. That is disgusting. So the one thing to realize is this flushing is not actually flushing the heater hoses and the heater core. That's why I like to run the truck because the water pump will force water through all that circuit and back into the system. That's why I keep flushing it. And if you're doing it this way, I would recommend that you continue to do what I'm doing here. Go out and drive the truck for a day or two and just keep flushing it until you get clear water out of this 
every time. Same procedure, same procedure. Put the radiator hose back on, get the clamp on, and then fill it back up with water. I like to fill it back up when it's running. Um, I think my expansion tank is full of water also, but I do it because the level of the radiator it gets pulled down by the pump and it just seems to be a good time to do that. There's me remote starting it. I really do like that hose. Uh, it is very easy to clamp off like, like that with those clamps and I really like those clamps as a matter of fact. Same situation, fill it up and run it. And this is a couple days later. Um, I, I have flushed it again. I did not take video, but at this point it's, it's coming out clear enough that I am going to go ahead and put in radiator flush. And I can't remember the name of the brand. I just got it from a parts store, uh, put the whole bottle in and I believe I ran it for about a week. Um, I would follow the directions on there. I think I only took a few trips in it and then I flushed it again. Okay. So I'm ending the video there. Um, there's not much more to show. It's just more of the same. There is radiator flush or coolant flush in the system now and just go by the directions of the flush that you get. I think I left it in there for about a week and drove the truck maybe three times just in the city, just enough to heat cycle it a few times, and then I flushed it again. I didn't get video of that because, like I said, it's just more of the same, and I got lucky that uh, when I flushed it after that week of the radiator flush being in there, it looked fine. It wasn't uh, dirty or black or anything like I seen the first two times that I flushed it without the flush. You know, and I will re reiterate that, you know, flush it, fill it up, drive it, flush it again. If it's still dirty, keep doing that cycle until you get clean water out and then put the flush in and then really make sure that it's getting all cleaned out of there. But that's how I did it. Hope you enjoyed it.